Well, I got an unexpected day at home. Uh, my wife was supposed to have outpatient surgery, so I took the day off to drive her, and they canceled the surgery. <laughs> so I'm going to, uh, it's obviously been raining if you look at the driveway, so I'm going to pull out the airbrush, which I, I'll show you later what I got. Very cheap setup. Sort of regret getting it. I'll, uh, yeah, like Boomer Diorama says, uh, just play with it and learn. That's the purpose of this diorama, is to learn. So you can see I have already uh, sort of I'd taken some brown paint. Again, I just I just use this acrylic paint. I don't know if you can see it. Very good. Uh, got it at Hobby Lobby. I mixed it with rubbing alcohol. And I have feathered in the riverbank because that's the same color I painted the riverbank. So, uh, just sort of show you what I'm doing here before the paint dries in the <laughs> in the airbrush, and I've got a mess to clean up. So I'm just sort of feathering it in. And you probably can't see this. There we go. That's the bank. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on adding um, black paint to it to sort of make it look deeper as it gets to the middle. So I'm going up on the river bank a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit of black paint to it and uh, see what that looks like. Okay, so I've added uh, a little bit of black and I've feathered it in a little bit more. Um, I don't know if I can zoom in here or not. I'm using my... Um, she can't think of what it's called now. <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, gimbal. And uh, this is as far forward as it'll tilt down. So I'm going to have to move the camera back so you can see a little bit better. Uh, so now I've added some more black and I'm going to go do the middle and see what that looks like. Okay, this is what I ended up with. I'll just sort of walk around so you can get different views of it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, again, I'll just, uh, I said <laughs> I'm learning. Um, fairly heavy with it. I guess I'll find out when I put water on it what it looks like. Uh, but it's shallow up toward the edges and it blends into deeper in the middle uh, so that's that's the uh, effect you want anyhow I've got these um, now I'll try to like zoom I don't know what these look like white specks are remember this is all covered with the uh, sculpt mold and when it dried it had those and I tried actually painting over those and couldn't uh, seem to cover them up so that's sort of sort of weird. I don't know why. All right. So this is the setup I got from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's about ninety bucks. Problem with this compressor is it runs up to sixty and stops. Oop! Airbrush just fell off. <laughs> it's not going to hurt it. I've already cleaned it, and the bottle's not on. It. Runs up to sixty and stops. And then when you start painting with it, it stays about there. Uh, so you really can't regulate it like it comes. It's like, I guess, wasn't there about 30 right now? As soon as you let off, it goes back to 60 and stops. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of work. I thought it was okay for painting the uh, river, but I don't know if I want to try to paint a model or something. I have a big compressor because I have air tools. Uh, one of my other hobbies is that. <laughs> it's a 1989 uh, Land Cruiser and we go uh, off-roading. We have a club. We all, all work on them. Uh, so, you know, I have air tools that I can do stuff like that with. So I have a big compressor. Uh, I just have to that I could regulate to 15 PSI, 20 PSI, and has a huge tank, so it wouldn't be kicking on and off. 
um, I just have to get the air hoses and the fittings to be able to adapt it and then I could only airbrush in the garage so if I wanted to actually do something in the layout room this wouldn't work um, I mean the big compressor wouldn't work uh, so if I'm going to paint my riverbank in the uh, on the layout it's going to be in the layout room I'll have the windows open fan on and using water-based paint um, with an airbrush I think I should be okay but uh, anyhow that's the setup I used the uh, paint that I used for the black uh, mission models just black uh, again I mixed it with this stuff here because I didn't have any brown mission models paint I need to stock up on my paints um, and I just use rubbing alcohol uh, I'm sort of following well <laughs> he's probably gonna say I'm not following uh, but boomer dioramas is uh, encouraging people to uh, try to use the airbrush to do more stuff to uh, you know to weather and to add texture and everything so I've watched a lot of his videos I'm trying to um, learn from him but uh, he went over his airbrush setup the other day and it's uh, much much better than what I've got so um, anyhow I'm gonna this is where I'm at I'm gonna have to let that dry and see what I need to do next on the uh, module again he goes Luke goes ahead and like puts the bridge in and everything and I don't think I'm gonna do that um, I think I'm gonna pour my water and everything before I put the bridge in just cuz I'm a little nervous about it <laughs> so, uh, so that's where I'm at I will uh, probably maybe tack on part two of the switching onto this we'll see how long this turns out to be everybody stay safe I do want to point out one thing um, he didn't do it in this video another one of his videos where he made it he uh, didn't want to have brush strokes in the stream so I actually sliced, went in with the brush and sort of stippled uh, the paint and I did that too um, so you just can't see can't see the brush strokes uh, underneath the water so that'll just uh, look like some little ripples or whatever uh, on the bottom so just to satisfy my curiosity uh, this is the original dirt and grout mix that I put on the uh, module and I said, oh, that's too light. I just don't like it. It's too light. Even though Luke said it would turn darker after you applied the glue in the water. So I try, I just dumped some out on this <laughs> scrap piece of masonite. And I put rubbing alcohol on it and um, scenic cement on it. So we'll see what it looks like when it dries. See if it really is a lot darker. And if it would have been okay for me to use instead of uh, mixing up another, another batch that was a little bit darker. All right, it's been about uh, eight hours since I did that. Um, so like I said, this stuff over here, it's not glued at all. I, that's the color that it was. Um, it's pretty dry over here. I mean, I don't know that's going to change a whole lot. Uh, color. So you can see this definitely lighter than what I had. I probably should have done this next to the edge so you can <laughs> contrast a little bit better. Uh, but it would have been okay. It definitely got a lot darker. And it would have been uh, okay. I just didn't trust <laughs> that it was going to get that dark. Uh, so, another thing I learned. I still think I should have bought a darker colored grout. Just a little bit. Another, another shade darker. Not, uh, not real dark, but another shade darker would have been a little bit better. So, I decided to leave the switching for just switching. And I'm going to, I don't want to call this an unboxing. I've never done an unboxing video. <laughs> I'm going to do a review. Bought this hot wire cutter on Amazon. About uh, 20 bucks. Uh, I think, I, I don't know, the hot wire foam factory one that Luke uses was 10 or 15 bucks more. Uh, comes with, this is the handle. Uh, stand and set it on five different length needles. And this is the power supply. So I guess you turn it different uh, adjustable power for the size of the needle and maybe the size of the foam you're cutting. It has an extremely short power cord. I've never seen anything that, <laughs> that short uh, to plug in. So you'll have to definitely have an extension cord with it. But I'm going to 
use it for the first time. I'm just gonna I got these pieces of foam in here and just uh, experiment with it. So see if you think it's uh, it's worthwhile. Again, it was about 20 bucks. I think we had the Amazon Prime free shipping, stuff like that. Got here in a couple days, and uh, so anyhow, I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod and I'm gonna use the shortest needle here which is uh how was it maybe three inches um and then i'll just see how it does and i have to play with it because i don't really know you know how it works you'll find out with along with me okay so it says to plug in uh connect the plastic wand and the voltage regulator plug in the voltage regulator and switch it on slowly adjust the control knob Drone up to an appropriate voltage, about six to nine volts. Stop when the indicator light becomes, starts flashing. So, I have no idea what six to nine volts is on this thing. So, I just put it about in the middle. Uh, and the indicator light is not flashing. So, let's see what it does here. I'm not forcing it at all. That was uh, pretty smooth. Now this foam, this type of foam, smells pretty bad. That's probably not good for you. So again, if I do this in the room, I'll probably put a face mask on. You know, my wife has some like N95. Don't know if that'll help or not. I had the window open, door shut to the room, fan blowing out the window. But, so I'll just slice a little rank. I'm not putting any force on at all. I'm going to adjust the voltage regulator down a little bit and see, see it. I'll give it a chance to cool. Bottom's about maybe 25 30%. Uh, to go this speed, I maybe had to put a little bit more force into it. But again, I'm not putting any force really at all. Of course, this thing gets very hot and it will burn you. <laughs> so, you notice I've got strings on it now, which I didn't have before. I'm going to turn it back up a little bit. Let's see if that makes a, a difference. I bought this is because you know I was out here in the garage and I just carved my riverbank um, you know, by hand but I thought in the room that's gonna make a huge mess so I thought I would be able to carve the riverbank that's got a pretty good amount of build up on it now but I think it works I think uh, it's gonna be a very useful tool for, uh, for 20 bucks so I'm gonna turn it off and uh, let it cool I just thought you'd like to, like to see that. Um, I will try to uh, get my wife to get the exact part number. It's made by Afanti, A-F-A-N-T-T-I. And again, we got it through Amazon. So, pretty interesting. I think it'd be a good tool. Chance is relaxing. He had a really bad seizure uh, a little while ago. Collapsed into the table. And, uh, but he's okay now. I mean, he's, he's alert and he can get up if he wants to. But uh, it was a bad one. Uh, but overall, it was a little bit better day. Not much of an appetite, but uh, seizures have been less. Okay, I think it's uh, long enough to video to post. Um, this is the water I'm going to use. Um, decided to try it. Uh, there is enough in this box. I went to the Woodland Scenics um, website, used their calculator. Uh, there's enough in this box to make a reasonable depth. So tomorrow I'm off again because I thought my wife was going to have surgery. So. Um, Right now, I'm planning on trying to pour the water tomorrow, uh, but I want to add some details to the riverbank. So, 
if they aren't dry I won't be able to pour the water until Wednesday or so but uh, I'll keep you posted everybody stay safe